Hello Pisces, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. This is a general reading, it might not resonate with everyone. Please take what resonates and leave the rest alone. Or you could look at your moon and rising sign for greater clarity. We have no place like home. So this is, it could be your home, it's wherever you feel safe and secure. It's a beautiful, safe energy. You might want to buy your first home. You might be embarking on something like that, setting up your first home, release. So there's things we're needing to let go here to move forward. It, this could also be groups where you feel at home in, with people as well, certain types of people where you fit in. It's about fitting in. Could be uh, your environments as well with people. Just let me get these cards, they're jumping today. There we go. Thank you. Enlightenment. So there's soul growth, enlightenment coming in. You're learning something here or you've learned something and you know what you need to release here to bring greater stability and feel more secure. Now it could be within your home life or it could be within your groups of people or your relationships here. You want to feel safe and secure no matter what you're in here. See what the tarot says? If this doesn't resonate with you, there is a playlist on my channel with other messages there that might suit you better. Ten of Cups. The Page of Cups. The King of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles. The overall energy here is the Seven of Cups. The beautiful Temperance card. The Three of Cups. The Page of Swords. And the Five of Wands. Now, we've learned something here and we need to, we know what we need to let go here and we're procrastinating. This is about putting off making choices. You need to make choices here. Something needs to give here. You've learned something. You know where you need to be. You know what you need to do to bring security into your life. There's something, somebody or an environment that you need to let go here to move towards greater stability. Now, this could be in any area of your life. It could be within your work life, your finances, your relationships, or your environments. Anything that's tangible in your life. This is about moving forward, and it's the slowest night in the park. Now, we can become enlightened as well if we gather more information to help us make our choices. So there could be information coming forward here. We could be learning something. Um, it could be that because we've learned something, we're starting to see the way forward and we know what it is we have to release. But this could be somebody bringing you information as well. It could be a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius energy. So you've learned something here and we need to move forward. So don't put off making these choices because these are all the blessings you could have through making the choices that are needed to release whatever it is that you need that needs to go here. And it's about you going towards what your idea of happiness is. So this is the idea of happiness. Pages are ideas of things. This is emotional here. Now, this could also be an apology that comes forward as well. But whatever it is, it's about you moving towards happier times. Now, this can feel very slow, like I say. You could be slow because you're putting off your choices. It could be slow because you need to gather more information. And what he does here is he lays solid foundations for the future. Now, we have got the five of wands here, and it is uh, in the Enlightenment uh, row of cards. Now, this could be any kind of antagonistic energy within your environments or your relationships, and fives are change, and this is what we need to release. We don't want to be in environments where there's competition. We want to be choosing our arguments very, very carefully. Um, this could be you as well procrastinating over these choices. Will I, won't I, should I, should, shouldn't I? Don't put off any longer. Things need to change here and you need to make these choices to go forward. Now, like I say, he's the slowest moving knight in the pack and that's because he makes sure that when he goes forward, he's creating solid things. So you might want to, like I say, gather information if you're signing contracts, please look at the details if you're signing anything. So, you know, know exactly what you're getting involved in here. So any financial agreements, any um, contracts, whether it be work contracts or it could be, you know, um, whether you're renting or buying anything, whatever you're investing here, make sure that you dot your I's and stroke your T's. And that is what will help you with your stability. You can build on things. And it's about being in a safe, secure place, whether it be relationships, 
environments here and feeling at one with your finances as well. It could be anything here. Feeling at home and feeling safe. Now, it might be as well that you might need to go to a professional person to get some advice. This could be a lawyer. It could be an accountant. It could be a bank manager, whatever it may be, some kind of intellectual person that can help uh, professionally. Or this could be you getting ready to speak up because source can be communication. You've decided you can see the, that you need to make the change. You've made your choices now and you're t communicating what it is, uh, what you need to do, what you're prepared to do to go towards your happiness here. And what's going to happen is it's going to bring a lot of blessings to you. There's house again, your home life, your finances, your environments, whatever it may be great stability. This is blessings after times of challenge. So there's been challenging times and this is all the blessings at the end of the rainbow. So it's not time to be procrastinating. There's rainbows here. You can see the rainbow in the cups here. The universe is wanting to give you all these blessings here, Pisces. So make your choices because it's going to bring greater balance into your life. So release things that are not sitting well with you. Let things go that are not working for you here. Make good choices for yourself and you'll bring harmony back into your environment. Now, what I'll do is here, I'll just clarify the five of one's energy here. Yes. See what this is actually about. And there we are. What Spirit's saying here is use your intuition here. Listen to your intu intuition about what you're thinking, feeling, seeing around you here, because it's time to move away from this antagonistic energies. And it's time, if it's within yourself, it's time to listen to your gut voice and pay attention to how you're thinking, seeing and feeling about things, because your intuition never lets you down. This is also about the wheel of fortune. The universe is working in your favour. They're wanting you to go forward because they're wanting you to find happiness and they're wanting you to go out and celebrate the blessings that you can bring in. They're supporting you because they want you to have happier times. Now, this can also be, this could be uh, invitations for parties or weddings. You might be in, getting invited out somewhere. It's time to have a bit of fun, definitely, here. So this is the universe supporting you. What can happen is when you make your choices and you go forward, now this could you be going forward. It could also be opportunities being brought to you because you're making your choices. So somebody could be coming forward, somebody who's a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn and offering you, uh, you get the opportunity of new jobs, new uh, financial stable situations. And like I say, it could involve a professional person as well that's giving you advice to bring new stability back in. But things start to appear. And what can happen when the wheel of fortune's moving is once you've made your choice, you can suddenly feel your, the energies and you go forward very, very quickly. Once you put your things into motion here, the universe backs you and you go forward quicker. And this is about, like I said to you here, it's about stability. It's brand new opportunities in finances and stability. Now this can be windfalls, it can be inheritances, it can be compensation coming through that you've been waiting on. Um, it could also be if you're going for new jobs, you could be buying a new home. Any kind of financial investment you're making that's going to bring growth. But it's time to move forward to brand new stability of some sort. So use your intuition here, definitely. The universe will back you with any choices that you make. They're trying to encourage you. You could be buying your first home. You could be renting your first home. Like I say, uh, you might win the lottery here and it enables you to buy another home. But there's a lot of blessings here. Uh, you'll need to, you might need to help the help of a professional person in that case. Don't doubt yourself. Uh, if it's you doubting yourself and your ability to achieve, please don't do that. And get away from any antagonistic people and environments. If, if that's the case, it could be that for some of you as well. Release all that and things will change. Balance, you see. It's time to find balance in your life and what is most important to you. And that's what this is about. It's about bringing harmony back, new stability and harmony back into your life. Love. Love. It's the right time for you to experience a loving, committed relationship. Enjoy it. It might well be. But love yourself as well. Do the right thing for yourself here, Pisces. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.